This was me 16 years ago. Hi, it's Silvestro and welcome back to the channel and welcome to all the new people today. Thank you for clicking on this video. I've lost 80 kilos 18 years ago and it took me 18 months to lose my weight. So it's really good to have you here and I'm happy to share with you how I lost all of my weight and most importantly, how to keep the weight off. So today I'm going to share with you my five steps you can do in the next 24 hours to start to lose weight and to keep it off for the rest of your life. One of the biggest struggles that people have when it comes to losing weight is just to start. The thing is that there's so much information, so many diets, that it becomes quite overwhelming. Things like what to eat, how to eat, when to eat, when to exercise, how to exercise. The list just goes on and on and on and it gets quite misinformed. The options are seriously endless. Now combined with today's busy lifestyle, I can see why people just simply grab the towel, throw it in and never get past day one. I understand because I've been there many times before. To lose weight and keep it off forever, you need to look at the first 24 hours very differently from before. For many people, including myself at one time, a typical first day would include extreme changes, unrealistic changes, going to the gym, doing a two or three hour workout, and on top of that, making some drastic changes to my food, get rid of all my pastas and chips and lollies and ice cream, all the food that we love. And after probably a few days, you realize that it's not sustainable, you're going to stir crazy, and then you go ahead and you go back to your old habits in the food. I understand, it's just human. And of course, changing eating habits and incorporating exercise needs to happen to lose weight, but you're not going to change decades of bad habits in one day or having a nice salad or going for a walk around the block. And if you try it, then most likely you'll just become frustrated, but change will come over time as you start to create sustainable, healthy habits. If I shouldn't work out like a mad person or throw away the past and the ice cream, what should I do in the first 24 hours of my weight loss? Well, I believe the first 24 hours or so is all about laying the groundwork, rebuilding your foundation. You want to take time to really think about and plan out how you're going to make this happen, prioritize your lifestyle. Lifestyle changes are the hardest to make and they don't just happen. You need to make them happen by becoming intentional with action. So here are my five things I recommend you do during your weight loss journey during the first 24 hours. And this can be done in the next 24 hours or maybe you wait until the weekend when you're not as busy. You don't, you don't feel as overwhelmed or pressured by doing this. So just pick your time. However, there is no perfect time. There is better time than others. But I suggest taking a day where you have some extra time to focus and really think about the changes you are trying to do this busy or your busy week on a day. You have a couple birthdays or maybe you find it overwhelming. However, don't procrastinate. Either you need to make this priority number one. Now don't get worried or stressed about it if you can't get these actions up within the next 24 hours. The whole point is to create a healthy, realistic plan to make your new lifestyle. If that takes you two or three days, that's fine. Just don't try and make it any big changes until you have thought it through first. It's really important. So Tip number one, step number one, I want you to get on the scales, take some measurements, take a picture. I know the scales are scary and so it's taking measurements, but you need to do this for a starting point. So we can set goals, we can measure your progress, 
Don't be scared. If I can do this, you can do this. Plus, think of this way. After today, you will never see that number again. You know, taking the photo beforehand with monthly progress is only going to motivate you. It's only going to push you forward. Because I'll tell you what happens. As you begin to lose weight, your body transforms into this incredible person to see that progress through the pictures. Now, step two, start tracking. Keep a journal, a piece of paper, track onto your watch, whatever means possible. So you need to start recording and tracking your daily food intake, how you're moving, how you're thinking. This information is so important it will help you make adjustments along the way on how you eat and how you move and how you're thinking and how you can make the next day better. Only if it's 1%. If you can improve just a very small step or those small steps up to a big step and then you'll find that you are well and truly on your way to losing weight and losing weight for the very last time. So tracking is very important because it's valuable information that it's going to help you, no one else, just help you lose the weight. And like I said, making those one little adjustments that's going to help you move forward. And I'm going to make this easier for you. You can download my free instant 150 page planner that I've created during my weight loss that will make it easier for you to lose weight in the first 24 hours and lose it for the very last time. It's got, it will encourage you, it will keep you accountable and a bonus, delicious mouth watering recipes. So I'm gonna put a link up here, you can download the planner and you can confidently transform and live your best life. And I'll put a link down below in the main description. There's no catches. I just gather your email address and send you some weekly or monthly newsletters. Three, schedule in time to go shopping, to prepare your meal and to exercise. I don't know about you, but if it doesn't exist in my calendar, it doesn't happen. So for new habits to form, you need to make them a priority, which means you need to make time for them. The only way to do this is to look at your calendar and physically put them in, and that way you know you'll get it done. It might sound silly by putting in the calendar how you're gonna exercise or what you're gonna eat, but with today's busy schedule, it's gonna really help keep you organized. Plus, once you put it in your calendar and you have those reminders, remember, well, it needs to be done and it's just habit happening. I really try to use my calendar every day for my life and I find it very helpful, very motivating to see reminders pop up on my phone, tell me to you know, lay out my exercise clothes or get my food organized. Step four, write a grocery list for two weeks. Create a meal plan and become intentional with your food because it's a key to weight loss. Take some time in the first 24 hours and write down for the next two weeks a grocery list. Now, this way you don't have to think about what you're gonna eat every day because you already have it planned. Menu planning can get overwhelming, so I suggest let's keep it simple. Don't try and fill every single meal with a brand new recipe, you know, three times a day or every day for two weeks. We'll just go crazy, just use the recipes you already have or maybe throw in a couple of new ones to try. If you go into my playlist, there's lots of recipes you can download. In the planner, there's recipes also. So there's lots of new recipes in which you can do this. Set aside a couple of hours to focus on this and it's gonna be truly on your way in the first 24 hours. And once you get the hang of it, you'll quickly be more prepared and be easier. Okay, step five, clean out and organize your fridge, your pantry, and your freezer. I say this for the last one because it takes time, it's the longest. Now I'm not suggesting now to go in there and throw away all your junk food. That's quite drastic on the first day. I'm suggesting you start to clear out and make room for healthier foods. You'll fill your kitchen with, and your pantry cupboard with, and your fridge with. Of course, don't try and organize all three at once because you'll just get overwhelmed and it goes in a too hard basket. I don't want you to feel that way. I want you to enjoy the process. 
as you create a healthier lifestyle where you spend more time in the kitchen, you want your kitchen environment that makes it easy to cook and to eat healthily. Plus, once you have your kitchen cleaned out and organized, you'll feel amazing and ready to start and embark on your new lifestyle. It's simply a great way to cleanse and to start losing weight, and this must be in the first 24 hours. Now, goals are easy to commit to. You know what's really hard is committing to the obstacles and problems that arises along the way. We don't commit to figuring out why we overeat or how to talk to ourselves when we aren't perfect. And showing up the next day to make a food plan when the previous day we didn't follow it. You never lose your weight if you only commit to going all in on perfection. You must learn to commit to mistakes. That's progress. That means talking about them like they're a part of the process because they are. You can't afford to talk about them like something has gone wrong with you. And not calling yourself names like lazy or weak or you're a failure when it happens. None of that, please. Start asking, like, what did I learn here? What do I need to do differently or think differently? Remember, next time. You see, weight loss isn't about good food versus bad food. It's not about calories in and calories out. All of that is smoke and mirrors blocking you from weight loss. What it's all truly about. Weight loss is a process. Deciding who you want to be and how you want to live your best life and learn how to go after it in a way that you love it. Well, that's what I feel. I never wanted to lose weight if hating myself along the way was needed. I lost weight by finally learning to believe in myself, how to do that, and that gift I hope to be teaching all of you each and every day where you can lose the weight and lose the weight for the very last time is important because you need to fall in to a lifestyle that you love, that you can do every day, you can do forever. There's no point in losing weight and doing things that you can't do forever because that's hard work. Find what works for you, day by day, step by step, meal by meal, exercise by exercise. And for you can find that one or two percent improvement on your eating, how you're moving, how you're thinking, how you're sleeping, even drinking more water. Every day in the first month, you've made a big step improvement in losing weight and losing weight for the last time. These five steps, these five tips are going to help you in the first 24 hours to build a foundation to get you prepared, to have you ready to have you in the right mindset, to give you the best possible chance to not only lose the weight, but also to lose the weight for the very last time. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and you can take something away from it that you can add it to your journey. Please feel free to subscribe and to like the video and to share with your family, friends or colleagues or anyone that would benefit from this, that needs to hear this that losing weight doesn't have to be hard, doesn't have to be a, a something that you hate to do, you need to do, it's because you want to do it. So decide, remember your why, lose weight, enjoy the process, learn from the mistakes, move forward, ask the questions, and you will lose weight and lose weight for the very last time. Keep on up out for my next videos. I upload a few times a week. Um, notification button that reminds you what's happening and I look forward in seeing you or re even reading your comments. I love reading comments because that really helps me to engage with you to understand and to serve you and help you in losing weight and losing weight for the very last time. Thank you and talk to you soon.